Hello, um, my name is Ed Malthouse, and I'm really excited to have you taking IMC 451, which is the Introduction to Statistics and Market Research course. This video is going to show you how you can use the course packet. I've been developing this course packet for about the past 18, maybe 19 years, and I think it, um, it really makes learning statistics easy. Uh, so, um, I'd like to kind of walk you through some of the key features of this in this video. With getting the course packet. So, go to the um, Blackboard site and go to Course Materials, and you're going to see uh, under Course Materials this course packet. Download the PDF. It's, um, it's about a three, four hundred page document. You can put it on your um, computer, your iPad, whatever, uh, and it's uh, you know, very, very easy to carry around for that, that reason. Um, one other thing, there are a lot of videos in, that are linked from the course packet. Now, to access those videos, you need to be logged in to the Google App site for this course. You can log into the Google App site by going to Course Materials and clicking on IMC 451. So, so click on that, and if you do that at the beginning of your session, you're going to be brought to this, um, this Google App site. Uh, one more thing, click on Lessons here, and, and you get uh, all the data sets for each of, each of the sessions and so forth. Okay, so if you do that, then you're logged in, and you're going to be able to access the videos. Okay, so after you've downloaded the course packet, let's... Um, Let's, let's bring it up. This is the course packet. And you'll see that it, 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 the first page starts with a table of contents. The course packet is organized by week. And when you hover above the week, you'll see that there's a, a hyperlink that'll take you to that section. And you have kind of the major topics that are going to be covered during that week. Perhaps um, one of the most typical weeks is uh, week four. Week one's a little bit unusual. So let's go to week four. So you'll see that begins on page 121, at least in this version of the course packet, or just go click on, uh, on week four. And you'll see you have a little introductory page that sets off uh, week four. Now, as we page through this, um, this uh, uh, section, you're going to see that there's a lot of stuff in blue. Anything that is in blue, you can click on. Sometimes these blue things are hyperlinks to articles or Wikipedia pages giving you more information, but more often than not, they're going to take you to a video. So you can click on this, and you'll, you see you're going to be brought back to the web page, you know, the, the Google app site, and here is my lecture that is an introduction to probability theory. So if you're a full-time or part-time student, you get this lecture live. If you're a distance student, this is the lecture. So if you're a full or part-time student, you can come and, and watch this. And so you'll see that here's the video. Okay, we're not going to watch that right now. All right, so the point is you can, uh, you can click on anything blue and be brought to the lecture. Now, as you're going through this and watching these lectures, you're going to encounter these your turns uh, on various slides. Now, often these your turns come from Siegel, the textbook for the class. Uh, sometimes they're questions that I've, I've created on my own. You want to do these your turns when you encounter them. So statistics really builds on itself. And uh, if, you, if you don't understand step one, you're not going to get step two. And so you kind of have to practice step one before you move on to step two. Now, with these your turns, I almost always give you the solutions. So you'll see that at the, I give you the solutions as a footnote. And so this is a little check for yourself. So try it, then look at the answer. And if you're not getting it right, you better go listen to the video from step one again. All right, so uh, keep going, keep going. Okay, here's another your turn. And you'll see with this your, your turn, uh, I've actually made a video. So if you cannot work this problem, you know, you, you try the problem, you can't get my answers, you look at my answer and, and it still doesn't make any sense, you can click on this video button and you're going to be brought to 
a, um, a video solution where you can actually, actually watch me working it. All right, so good. Keep going, keep going. Uh, and then eventually you're going you're gonna to come to, and you see there's videos all over the place. Um, you're going to come to this. Your Turn Siegel Chapter 6 Homework Solutions. So I've worked most of the problems in Chapter 6 for you and given you the short answers here. So I expect you to try, you know, try to do all these problems. And, you know, the more problems you do, the better you're going to get at this. It's kind of like, uh, you know, learning to play the piano or learning to play tennis. The more you practice, the better you get at it. First time you try it, you're not going to be very good. After you've done 10 or 15 of these, these reps, you're going to feel pretty comfortable with it. All right, so what you should do at this point is, you know, stop watching videos and get out, you know, pencil and paper, maybe your, your um, computer, and try to work as many of these problems as you feel like you need to do. All right, so some of you are going to feel pretty comfortable with this, and after you do four or five problems, you will, you know, feel like you can move on. Uh, others are going to need a whole lot more practice, and you're going to want to work, work each one of these problems maybe three times before it really sinks in. Again, if you get stuck on some of these, there are video links that you can click on and watch my solution to these. So that's um, that's really about it for the course packet. You know, so you got the videos, and you have the your turn um, uh, video uh, problems that you should be working uh, as you move along.